Hello, this is the Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today, we're going to review the Steel Dive SD8103 Pilot 1903 watch. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing my Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. I haven't worn this one in a while. This is definitely one of my nicer watches, and I should wear it more often, but I'm busy wearing watches I have to review. And Grogo is wearing my Movement Classic Black Link which is probably what I'm going to review next. I asked Grogu if he had any regrets leaving the Jedi Academy. He said no, and he sure wasn't going to miss Ben Solo always picking on him. Plus, he said whenever they were paired up to do a project, Ben was always taking a Snoke break. Here's the watch being a still dive. It comes in this nice plastic case. Same case that Addy's Dive comes in. And San Martin used to come in until they upped their case game with those big old cases they are sending them in now. This watch was about $90 on AliExpress. This is my first still dive on this channel and surprisingly enough it isn't a dive style watch. This 1903 is a pilot's watch although most pilot's watches are on the large side. This is a very compact 36 millimeters. When I first unboxed this, I thought it was an automatic due to the smooth sweep of the second hand, but it turns out this is a VH31 quartz watch that takes four times a second. Which is not only visually appealing, it eliminates the whole quartz second hand alignment issue. Still Dive puts a year on their watches to indicate what era they are homaging. This one is the year 1903, which would be the earliest year for a pilot's watch since 1903 is the year of the Wright brothers' first flight at Kitty Hawk. When Orville Wright flew that very first plane, he more than likely had a pocket watch as wrist watches were mainly for women at the time. The airplane helped with the watch's transition from pocket to the wrist due to the sheer practicality of having a watch in your wrist when your hands are too busy to pull out a pocket watch. This is one year before the first pilot's watch to Cartier Santos. This still dive looks nothing like a Cartier. Another thing that moved the watch from the pocket to the wrist was the First World War. As far as I'm concerned, this looks a lot like a World War I trench watch. I think it would look good on a bun strap. This watch is 36 millimeters at the case, but only 34.4 millimeters at the bezel. It's 45.2 millimeters lug to lug, only 11 millimeters thick, has an 18 millimeter lug width, and only weighs 55 grams on the supplied leather strap. The bezel is a smooth polished with a pretty steep slope. And then the dial is solid black with no sunburst effect. It has the still dive name and logo on top printed. Then on the bottom it says Pilot 1903 and then gives the 200 meters water resistance. It has loom numeric indices with a period appropriate font then it has tiny red minute markers they're so small that when I first saw them I thought they were dots and then it has a white train track minute thing around the dial we have cathedral hour hand and minute hand they look really nice and then we have a second hand with an arrow tip and then this long red tip. We have an unsigned screw down crown, which helps with the 200 meters of water resistance. Not sure why 200 meters is necessary for a pilot's watch, but since this is a quartz watch, you won't be setting it a lot anyway. So it's not that inconvenient to have to unscrew the crown to set it. And there is no ghost date position since this is a VH31 and that movement has no date. The crystal is a flat sapphire with AR coating. The coating does a nice job and there's little reflection. The case is a simple solid stainless steel with polished sides and brush tops and bottoms. The case kind of reminds me of the simple design of the, of the Bernie I reviewed last time. It has a screw down case back, which has dive logo. It doesn't give the model number for some strange reason though, but it did, does give the movement, the VH31. And it does say dive, 
but th this is really isn't a dive watch. The indicated movement is the VH31 quartz movement that takes four times a second. This movement also hacks. The strap is an 18 millimeter genuine leather with quick release. The leather is a very soft, high quality leather. This buckle is unsigned and polished and it seems very sturdy. But since this strap is such a good leather, I really recommend getting a deployment clasp, which will help preserve the leather and this strap. You'll need a 16 millimeter clasp if you get one and be sure to get a polished one and not a brushed. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. As you can see, this watch is a little small for me. But then again, being from supposedly 1903, this watch would be this small. I don't have a lot of 18 millimeter straps, so here it is on a charcoal colored strap. As you can see, it looks nice. You should be able to put this on all kinds of different straps. If you have 18 millimeters, that is. Here we are in the loom room. We're on the watch. I really wasn't expecting good loom, but boy, was I wrong. As I speed up the clock, you can see that the loom is quite good. And the best part is the hand loom is better than the index loom. Considering that this is not a dive style watch, the loom is quite impressive. What do I like about this watch? Well, the VH31 movement go, gives a smooth secondhand sweep with no alignment issues. I like this nice solid steel brush and polished case. And I like this high quality leather strap with quick release. And it has really good loom for a non-dive style watch. What are my gripes and groans? Well, 36 millimeters is a little too small for me, but if you have a smaller wrist, it should be fine for you. And did we really need a screw down crown with 200 meters on a pilot's watch? And why not a white colorway? That would have looked good too. And 1903 seems like a little early for a pilot's watch since that was the first year of flight. Maybe they should have done 1916 or something. And at $90, I think the price is just a little steep. I have a feeling I'm going to have a hard time selling this. Do I recommend this watch? Yes. If you like the looks and don't mind your watch a little small, then by all means get it. It is solidly built and looks nice. Thank you for watching my review of the Still Dive SD8103 Pilot 1903 watch. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel, and I will be back with another review, more than likely that movement. Bye.